Hey everyone, Tragically Garnering back again with another lot from Goodwill. But first, I got another new playmat. Uh, there's Tesa from the new uh, Ravnica Allegiance card, Revival and Revenge. Just thought it was cool art. Uh, I do play Orzov sometimes uh, when I get to play. So thought it would be cool. It was actually requested uh, down in the comments. Someone wanted to see a new playmat. Here it is. What do you think? Let me know. Anyway. Moving on to, what did I get? So here's what I got from the Goodwill of Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas. Uh, this may be a classic case of FOMO on my part, fear of missing out, since I did really good on the last box that I got from this same Goodwill. Um, <clears throat> and so when uh, another box that looked very similar came up, I was very excited and decided to go for it, but um, looking at the pictures, uh, it it's still a gamble because it doesn't look quite as good. Um, but anyway, here's what it is. So um, this box is really cool looking. It's one of the old um, uh, boxes from back in the 90s. Uh, definitely beat up, but it is a, a pretty cool looking box. So. People used to like to store their best cards in this kind of box, so we'll check that out. Um, in the cards, there were a couple of Steel Shapers gifts, which are good, um, but they're not breaking the bank. There's some foils here that are okay, but then there's some basic land, so um, it's really uh, definitely a mixed bag. Um, in this picture, there is a rootbound crag and some more foils. Again, not the most amazing foils and, that you'd ever ask for, but. Um, that's how it goes. Um, you'll, then you get into some stuff from Oath of the Gatewatch, and uh, Reckless Bushwhackers are great, but they're not gonna earn me back my 350 bucks. Um, so we're hoping that um, the um, cards shown here, which is about 150, um, are not totally representative of what's in the total 750. Um, but we are going to open this box right now and find out. And let's open the box. Here it is. Um, from Goodwill, uh, is it Western Missouri in Eastern Kansas. There it is. Um, came in at uh, five pounds, which is about a, about a thousand cards is four pounds, so. Maybe there's a little more than 750 in there if you got a pound of packaging here. We don't know. Um, right away, I'm just going to kind of unbox this and uh, peek through a little bit. Um, and then I will scan properly through the rest of the video. There it is. This feels like a good bunch more than 750. Uh, so let's open it up and find out. Great art on here. Got the Wretched. Got, uh, oh, that card's from Ice Age and I can't remember what it is. What to tell me? Um, was that Guardian Beast? Is that what it is? Minion of Tevish something or another? Yeah, this is great. Jizam Jin. Nether Shadow. If you can see that. And then the old Wizards of the Coast 1996 stuff on the back there. So a very cool box, even though it's beat up. Um, that, that by itself is probably even a, a little bit. Maybe I get five bucks for it, you know what I mean? So let's so open it up. I'm hoping to see some cards and sleeves. I'm expecting to see all unsleeved. Oh, a couple of sleeves here. And the, yeah, a little more at the end. So I'm hopeful. Um... The you know the the other box had a really interesting mixed bag. Um, this will definitely be at least fun to go through, and hoping for some stuff that's kind of big. I'll take a little sample just to look and see what we're at. Well, right off the bat, there's a very nice foil from Onslaught, a Shield Mage Elder. May not be a great one. And then more commander stuff. There's an alpha status, eighth edition foil, eighth edition commons, and oh, there's a rare. 
love seeing rares. Spirit Link. Okay, so uh, glorious anthem. So looks like maybe they just opened eighth edition stuff and threw it in there. I'm gonna grab another sample just for fun, and then we'll really go through it properly. Like so, this looks like new cards and old cards in this little slice right here. Okay, the Lantern Scout again. That's uh, Battle for Zendikar stuff. Foil Transgress the Mind, cool. Frost Walker, it's a Friday Night Magic promo. Nessie and Wilds Ravager, so, okay. Foil, Foil Art Land, got some okay stuff. Radiant Flame promo. Genesis Hydra, so this may not be extremely great, but there's some hope that I might, yeah, there's a Mythic. Chandra Roaring Flame. Not the Chandra you really want, but there it is. Oh, Detention Sphere. So, hey, this is still, okay, a couple of Detention Spheres. So, okay, there is definitely some hope for this box. And I'm going to go through it properly here in a little bit. Um, so, stay tuned. Love this box. I might just keep this box. Okay, scanning time, here we go. Yep, 250 for a foil leatherback bail off. All right, here we go, and a foil of vapor snag. Yep, different version, hold on, let's go with new Phyrexia in foil. 359, that's decent. Battlefield Forge and the rootbound crag that I saw in the listing. So that's decent. Yeah, that different version. And of course it's uh, standard legal right now, I believe, right? It's the M13 version. 329. There we go. Hey, Gift of Estates is 250 for a uh, ninth edition uncommon. Decent. Go with uh, a couple of those. We'll pull it. Hey, there's the Steel Shapers gifts. Those are from the listing, and they're decent. So we got two Steel Shapers gifts, uh, five seventy-six a piece, um, and of course that's TCG mid pricing. Everybody likes to point out that I'm not gonna make that much. I know um, TCG market is definitely more realistic, but unfortunately the TCG player app won't let me input prices in that way. I'd love to, I would just go ahead and set it for that. But currently TCG mid is what is showing there. I'm definitely aware that I'm gonna make 80% or less um, of that price on pretty much everything that gets scanned. It's just the way it is, it's fine. A foil wall of blood. From Mirrodin, so 90 cents for the regular, 570 for a foil wall of blood. That works. Relic of Progenitus, though, as a foil, ought to be pretty decent. Let's see. Eternal Masters regular version 442 as a foil 745. Okay, that's a winner. Throw that one over here.
Got a foil Uyo. That's decent, 425. We'll throw that over there. Okay, well, here's a Kefnet, the Mindful, and that's a foil. Not really the best god from Amiket, but as a foil, it's a little bit, so we'll throw that over here. Okay. And a Goblin General from Starter Set, and this one's got some stuff on it. Yeah, it would have been five bucks. We'll show it off. Definitely condition-wise, is gonna drop it down quite a bit. Windswept Heath and a Flooded Strand. Okay, are we getting somewhere here? Yes! That's a $14 card. Um, okay. Move some stuff around and show off these. Okay, Flooded Strand and a Blood Sand Mire and a Polluted Delta. Are you kidding me? Okay, um, that's better than the Oath of the Gatewatch watch stuff. Wow, 19 bucks for a flooded strand. Okay. Oh, now it's turned around. Bloodstained Mire. $24.99. And again, I know it's TCG Mid. I'm not going to get that much for it. It's um, going to get 70 to 80% of that because these are in good condition. Um, and that's great. Okay, a polluted Delta. Yep, 19. Oh, sweet. Another Bloodstained Mire and a Hollowed Fountain. Is this the meat of the box here? Wow, okay. Well, and a Watery Grave. Okay, this is the goods right here. Hollowed Fountain getting reprinted right now. Watery Grave already got reprinted, but there's still 10 bucks. Okay, better show these off a little better. There we go. Some Path to Exiles. From the dual decks, Let's switch that up. It's, I'm sorry, a modern event deck, eight bucks. Um, okay, all of a sudden I got a bunch of good stuff. Um, wow, really a bunch of Path to Exiles and some Hollow Fountains, okay. Right, we've got two, three, Six total from the event deck. One from Eternal Masters. I'm sorry, Modern Masters. You got you thought I was slipping there, didn't you? It's it's, it's not that hard to catch me, honestly. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, more Hollow Fountains, more polluted deltas. This is crazy. Um. Two of those. Yeah, okay, all right, what am I gonna do with all this? All right, two more polluted deltas. One, two, this is nuts. Crazy, Hall of Fountain. Uh, two more Bloodstained Mars, they just keep on coming. Okay, well now I've broken even in just a minute there. Crazy. We got glare. Uh, more flooded strands. That's nuts. There's a whole play set of flooded strands right there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, again, this is why I do this. Um, just out of the blue, there's a ton of great stuff. And there's more. Throne of the High City from Conspiracy as a foil. 
decent 564. Um, which pales in comparison to all these dual lands and shock lands and fetch lands, right? They're not dual lands, they're fetch lands. Okay, well, um, now that's almost half the box. Uh, sinkholes from Eternal Masters. Solid. Okay, one, two, three, four of those. Vindicates. Ah, oh, Baleful Strix, great. Amazing. Four of those. And some Baleful Strixes. Different version. Two of those. Okay, I'm back. Um, ran out of time yesterday, plus I had to clear the board of uh, a lot of great stuff that I found right at the end. I ran out of room to actually show it off. So here we go again to show, continue going through this box that still has foils in it, apparently. Um, you can get these to scan and change it to, oops, foil edition. Chain to the rocks is over a buck. Great. Indulgent Tormentor. And foil as well. Uh, under 90 cents, so that won't get included, but still a foil. I still keep it, of course. Uh, Condemn is a reprint. And there's a foil. It's actually 333. Okay, that's good. Uh, Lay of Sky Knight. I, I just don't know about foils. For the most part, I know that this card is probably not going to be that great, but I do have to put them all in and double check them. So here we go. I guess if I got a bunch of foils here in a row, I could change this to uh, on the list entry options, you can tell it to scan as a foil in the TCG player app. So let's just do that and save a little time here. Emissary Despair as a foil, 46 cents. Sepulchral Primordial, say that five times fast. Five bucks. Undead Gladiator from Onslaught. A nice foil. 375. That's a good one. Alright. Two Prairie Streams. A couple bucks each there. Three Sunken Hollows. Two smoldering marshes. That's great. This cycle lands all about a couple bucks each. Cinder glade. Three bucks on that one. Canopy vista. Two twenty-seven. So that's great. Um, definitely does seem like this was a commander's box. There's a bunch of lands to choose from for building decks and brewing, basically. So I I totally get that that must have been what this collection was. Not a whole lot. Sanctum of Ugin. Not a big one looks like. Still 349 for a foil version. Uh, another full art forest. Yeah, wow, that's a good one. Four ninety nine for this one. Elemental bond. Uh, okay, it's a buck ninety nine regularly as a foil. Five ninety nine for a foil elemental bond. That's nice. And it's in good condition.
And here's an unlimited Fungusar. Still in played condition. It's about as good as the last one I got. It's 21 bucks for a unlimited Fungusar. Thumbcall Grove is good. Five bucks. I think it's kind of on its way back up. Because it's currently standard legal. It's useful. There's a Harabaz Druid and some more Detention Sphere. That's great. 550 for a. Foil Harabaz Druid, which is in not great shape, but there it is. Another Harabaz Druid. Great. Um, Alright, we'll just put that there and add not four. Only have two. Um, so that's five bucks each. Definitely less once I actually get around to selling it. Pathraiser of Ulamog might be an okay foil. Yeah, 457 for that. We'll put that over here. A return to dust as a foil though might be okay. Whoa. Yeah, okay, 1899. So here's what I want to do with this. That's that's high. 1899. It's TCG mid price, of course. Um let's take a look. I don't know if we can see here. That's the mid price item. You can actually on the TCG player app switch to low and see that it's 1620 is what the low would be and market would be 1924 um so it's actually the market price on this card is actually higher than the mid um so that does happen from time to time you could trade this in to the highest buy list for 10 bucks uh, hopefully you can see all that um so this is typically why i just talk in tcg mid price um, it's somewhere around the mid usually it's high uh, low is a little more realistic for actually getting a price for that if I could get the TCG player app to scan in on market price I would do that so you can see that it's a little more realistic but even in that case this card would have actually been higher as a market price so there's that rant over <laughs> uh, hopefully you found that informative Martyr's Bond, that's a commander card that's pretty decent. 750. Put that one here. Okay. Mother of Runes, that's decent. The Elspeth deck. Uh, oh, there's three of them. That adds up, great. Alright, so. Yep, okay. I think I've got this figured out. I have found these before. Um, some fourth edition stuff. These are alternate fourth. And here's why I think they are. Grab any other magic card, compare the back. Okay. Might be a bad example, but the most telling thing to me 
you can see way up in here. The rig, the most regular magic cards in the A, there's a really light spot right at the top right corner of the A. The alternate fourth, it's very dark in that A spot. In addition to the rest of the card is also very dark. Um, and then this, the circle is actually a lot more purple. So I think I've got it nailed down. Um, maybe these are alternate fourth. I still don't think these are really worth a whole lot, um, but I may collect these somewhere else and just do them as a lot. Okay, oh, we're back to Shocklands. This is great. Okay, Blood Crypt. Turn to Ravnica. There's that. Stomping Ground, awesome. Watery Grave and an Urza's Tower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a real antiquities Urza's Tower. 15 bucks. Score. Tempt with Vengeance. Oh, it's a good commander card. I ran into this with the last box. There were a lot of deconstructed commander decks or just cards that were useful. Like they were the people were saying, it's commander's toolbox. I don't know, I'm not familiar with that card, but it's nine bucks. Okay, so here's a sleeve card. And I guess it was worth the wait. It's a natural order from Visions. Not in great condition. Um, $15.99 used to be worth more, I think. Got reprinted and it's come down. The sleeve is terrible. I'm just gonna throw it out here. Somewhere there. Sure, why not? Um, and of course I won't get nearly $15.99 for it. Uh, in that condition, but I got it now. Here's another. Nothing, but this is something chromatic lantern. This one looks like it's been picked out of the sleeve several times. Definitely like a slight play, but it's 478 otherwise. Let's just throw that here. A foil Lich Lord of Unks. This one's in pretty good shape. Regular Lich Lord 1026. What's the foil go for? Ha! <laughs> Just a, another buck. That's it. That's funny. Um, but still, it's a good card. We will put it there. Wisp. Oh, uh, that's a good card. Uh, okay, Flicker Wisp is a buck forty as an even tide. Modern Masters is a buck. Black Cleave Cliffs. Forty four dollars. Great. A Siphon Sliver. An icy manipulator. Wow, that's pretty beat. That's an unlimited though. Oh, cool. Siphon Soul, a couple bucks. An unlimited icy manipulator in tragic condition. Um, I I found one of these in my very first video, in uh, in much much better condition than this, and it was worth quite a bit as an unlimited. It's actually come down. Of course it was, I found the first one in the middle of like the big spike from last year. So I definitely won't get $69 for that. You want to give me 20? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, there's that.
All right, here it is, the end of the video with the total. I took out all the cards that were under 90 cents, which was quite a few, um, down to 172 cards. And on a initial gamble of $370, ended up with total value of $953. And a big chunk of that was all of these fetch lands and shock lands. Uh, so that's amazing. Um, I also got um, a really bad unlimited IC manipulator, a black cleave cliffs, an unlimited fungusar, um, an Urza's tower from antiquities, um, several other pretty decent cards in foil and non-foil, and then also a ton of cards that were um, two, three, four dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, not a ton of those. A ton of cards that were under 90 cents, um, but several cards that were in the two to five dollar range. Uh, and I got this cool box, which I am keeping. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, catch you on the next one.